What's up? What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is the uh, the cast here. Uh, I told in my last video for um, for the uh, ICS ROM for uh, first for Encounter ICS, I said I was going to do a how-to in order uh, to show you guys how to install this onto the under your Jared X. Um, just a little bit of background in case you haven't uh, watched my other video. Um, Encounter ICS X is the first uh, f first functional uh, ICS ROM for the Droid X, and it is um, it was made by a guy named First Encounter over on the Roots Wiki, um, and this is the first ROM ICS ROM that has uh, that has radio a working radio. Um, I know that. Uh, CVCPS, I believe is his name, was working on Cyanogen Mod 9, um, and uh, Mr. Lace was working on a his own port of ICS to the Droid X. Um, they've been very busy with their schooling and whatnot, but so First Encounter uh, was the guy who took the initiative to bring a ROM to ICS, uh, an ICS ROM to the Droid X. Um, right now, it's in its beta 2 stage, uh, so this is the, the beta uh, version that has the working radio. Um, so, a uh, few things you need to have uh, uh, in terms of prereqs for installing this ROM. Uh, you need to have, um, you need to be running a gingerbread kernel ROM, um, whether, oh, and you also need to be rooted, so if you're running a second init ROM, uh, well, I believe that, that it should be fine because it works on fine coming from MIUI. Um, also, I guess if you're running Cyanogen Mod, Liberty 3, um, any of those, uh, any of those gingerbread kernel ROMs, you can also be running the stock kernel, or stock gingerbread, um, preferably point, or to dot .605, um, but you do need to be rooted, uh, in order to do this because you need to get into recovery. Um, if you don't know how to get, uh, become rooted, there's a, there's a bunch of videos on how to do it. There's a, a one-click, uh, root method, uh, that you can you can do and get yourself rooted. So from there, once you have yourself rooted and you are able to get into Clockwork Recovery, um, you need to go to the to this page. I'll put the link in the description. Um, then you need to come here. It's on the first page. Um, here's a few screenshots of it, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, and down, if you scroll down here, there's the Beta 2, um, the Beta 2. Uh, download link, as well as the Google Apps link, which you should also grab as well. Um, so, yeah. So let's uh, let's get started with that. So obviously, once you, you're gonna download, you're gonna download the the, the ROM from here from Mediafire, uh, and you're gonna drop it under the root of your SD card for your on your on your phone. Um, as well as with the Google Apps, you're gonna drop that right onto the onto the root uh, of your SD card. Uh, after that, once you have that, I'm gonna switch over here. So once you have that um, all squared away and taken care of, uh, you're going to also you're gonna make sure that you have a, a decent amount of battery life on your phone, preferably full, uh, just so that you because in order for for it to boot, you know you need to have a decent amount of of of, of memory uh, or a memory of battery life so you do want to you don't want to um, be stuck in a boot loop and not be able to charge or anything like that um, same thing if you if you end up getting stuck in a boot loop and you have to like do an SBF or something like that you want to have a full battery because it doesn't charge during an SBF mode so um, once you're I already have the ROM installed on my phone so I'm just gonna show you guys um, just the steps to go through um, as you can see I have it already um, so you're gonna do what you need to do to get into uh, into your recovery mode. I'm gonna try. I believe that this reboots into recovery, into the into the clockwork recovery. I'm gonna. I didn't actually test it yet and make sure that it did, but I'm almost positive that it does because it. They're saying in order to get to clockwork, you have to go through the boot uh, memory, or to the boot through the boot menu. So we'll see if that actually does that. Uh, it's kind of like if you guys have been on MIUI before. Um, it's a very similar thing where you, you hold down, you go into the to the menu to turn it off and reboot, and you, it, you pick the clockwork recovery. So we'll see exactly how that shows up. 
Clockwork Recovery. It'll take just a second. Oh, there we go. Ah, did I, did it? Did I miss it? I might have missed it. Um, for my phone. Yeah, I think I actually missed it. No, I didn't. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait for this just real quick to boot up. I accidentally missed it. Um, in order... So, in order for this phone to boot into recovery, um... Uh, I don't know if you saw it though. There is a little LED, the LED that shows up there. It'll show up blue and then it'll show up green. While it's showing up blue, yeah, there we go. While it's showing up blue, you have to um, hit the down on the volume button to get into Clockwork Recovery, and that's that's going to be the same once you install uh, once you install this ROM. That's how you're going to be able. That's how you get into recovery. So we'll go ahead and just do that again. Just give it a moment. And I love all the little animations and stuff that that come with, um, with having an ice cream ice cream sandwich. So a lot of the animations are a lot nicer. Come on. And the blue the blue uh, the blue LED only shows up for just a couple of seconds, so you kind of need to be watching for it and be ready to uh, to hit it. Um, I think, there we go, there we go. So, as we can see here, um, we are in our, well, let's see here. Um, press the power key to select. Okay, so boot. Uh, yeah, I'll go back, let's see. Recovery, okay, here, uh, here we go. Uh, so if we go into recovery, I believe latest recovery brings us to... There we go. Okay. So I don't know if you saw that. Um, when it brings up the DXC boot menu, so just so you know, um, credits to DXC f uh, for giving us the clockwork recovery boot menu. Um, so just to let you know that that's, that goes out to him. He, he brought us that for the MIUI. So as you see here, we are in um, clockwork recovery. Let me see if I can actually focus this a little bit better. There we go. Alright, so, um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go down to wipe data factory reset, and then you're going to hit, oops, um, you're going to go wipe data factory reset, hit the, um, the little, the camera button there, scroll down to yes and delete all user data, I'm obviously, I'm not going to do this, I'm just going to hit the back button because I've already done this, but you're going to do that. Once that's done, you're going to go down to wipe cache partition and do the same thing, go down to yes and wipe cache, and then after that you're going to go to advanced, click the camera button, and then you're going to wipe the Delvic, which is the second option down. Um, after that, you should be good to go. Then you're going to go into install zip from SD card, click the button, uh, choose zip from SD card, and then it'll take you to the root of your um, the root of your SD card, and you're just going to scroll. You can scroll up until you find the Encounter ICS Beta 2.zip, which is what I have highlighted. Now you can't really see it all that well, but it's there. Um, and you're going to go ahead and flash that, give it a few. You know, you're going to scroll down to yes, install it, and then let it do its thing. After that, you're going to it'll bring you back to to the menu to the menu. Um, again, you're going to do the same thing. Go into install zip from SD card. Oops. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip. Scroll up again, and then you're going to find the um, the Google Apps. And it's Google or G Apps v5 version 5.1.zip. You're going to install that. After that, after that's all done, then you can go ahead and reboot your system. And it should bring back up the red M. Now, first, the first boot is going to take a few minutes. Uh, don't get scared. If it if it sits at this red M for a lot longer than a few minutes, or if it sits there for like more than ten minutes, you're gonna want to just go back and um, you're gonna want to go back and um, do a battery pull and go into stock recovery uh, and boot up that way. But there we go. And so there's the green LED um, that shows up. And now it's just gonna do its thing and go ahead and boot. Um, if you get past the red M, you should be okay. It'll take you to the CyanogenMod. mod. Um, loading the boot up screen. 
It'll go through all of that. And it's going to go through this this cycle of going through the 9, uh, and then the Cyanogen mod logo um, for a few minutes, uh, maybe like a minute or two. And then it'll bring you to your whole setup and whatnot. Um, so that's for getting the installation. Now there's a few other you, things you need to do right off the bat. Um, you know, to get to get this really working uh, optimally the way you want it to to do it. So um, I, it'll say, unfortunately, Google Talk has stopped. So yeah, Google Talk doesn't work. That's one of the things that don't work right now. Um, so the first uh, first thing we're gonna actually want to do here, uh, we're gonna want to go. Let me make sure I'm gonna find the correct. There it is. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our Start menu. And we're going to just scroll over until we find the terminal. And we're going to click on the terminal, and it's going to open up. Uh, it'll open up your terminal here. Um, now, what this is, what we're going to do right now is we're going to make it so that your SD card will mount over USB, so that you can put things onto your SD card from your computer. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to type SU for super user, and then hit the enter button, and it'll bring up a little hashtag uh, hashtag thing there. And the next next thing we'll do is then we're going to type in E C H O so echo space and then the back backward slash dev not uh, dev backward slash uh, block slash and then we're going to type in M M C B L K zero and then we're gonna and you hit space, greater than sign, space, backslash, sys, so S Y S slash devices slash platform slash USB underscore mass M-A-S-S underscore storage right, spell that right, okay, uh, storage uh, backslash again L-U-N zero backslash and then file F-I-L-E after you've typed that in you hit enter and then it'll bring back up the first line again, it'll bring up the hashtag line and after that then you're done. Then you can just back out of the terminal and now you'll have, uh, you'll be able to mount over your USB uh, which is a great thing because otherwise you won't be able to put stuff on there. Um, I believe if you do a reboot you're gonna have to do that again but the commands are all on the first page on the Roots Wiki page so you can definitely go ahead and, and, and check that out, do that again if you have to reboot. Um, Installing the Google Apps thing gives you the marketplace and all of your. It lets you like sync up with your contacts and stuff like that. So that is crucial. That is important to do uh, as well. Um, other than that, though, really the ROM is pretty much functional. You can call text. There's 3G works. Um, the, th the 3G speeds are actually really really good on this ROM. They for some reason they they tend to be a little bit more snappy. Um, Battery life is amazing on this phone. We're gonna actually I'll just go into my settings and I'll show you guys how this has been for me. Um, I'm on 16 hours uh, at 30 or 16 hours 15 minutes and I'm at 30 percent. Just decent. It's pretty good. Um, I mean it's it doesn't seem that being in low um, low signal areas affects it all that much but it does affect it some just like any it, it normally would. Um, now if you go back, we're gonna go back actually, I'm gonna really quickly show you guys since I didn't show you this in my last video. Hold down the home screen and uh, you have your f the famous uh, the one thing that um, people were talking about a lot for ICS was this the whole the new current apps thing. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm just going to open up a whole bunch of apps. I'm just going to open up email, open up Facebook, open up Marketplace, and music. All right, so all those are open now, and we're just going to hold the home button, and as you can see we have the giant list of everything that we've done that we've used now what's nice about this is that it has I guess it has like a, a I guess I don't know if it actually stops the processes from running but if you 
slide over to the left, you can just kill all the apps as you see them. So I don't know sure if that actually kills everything and, and makes it from stop it from running, but if it does, that's really cool. But that just there you go. That's your recent apps list. I didn't show you that um, before. Um, going again, just go into the settings, check out DSP Manager. That does force close on from time to time, but the music does work. Um, 4.0.1, uh, based off of the CyanogenMod mod nightly. And so there you go, guys. That's that's the how-to to install Encounter ICS. Again, credits for this ROM uh, go out first and foremost to uh, Mr. Uh, first Encounter. He was the one who took the ROM and made it all possible. Um, after and then next, we're gonna uh, we actually go over here. Cyanogen Defy team, who this ROM's based off of Cyanogen Mod 9, so uh, props to them for getting all that stuff out and working, and then DXC for bringing us the the uh, boot, the re reboot to re uh, Clockwork Recovery, uh, the boot menu. We're gonna. It seems that in the next build, um, they're gonna have the reboot to Clockwork. So like when you actually here, go back in here, when you go back to, oops. When you go to here and you hit the reboot, there will be a Clockwork Recovery. Um, option, but that'll be in the next release. Um, so yeah, that's just a few other things that don't work. Speakerphone, MMS, camera doesn't work. Um, and then voice input for like typing via your voice. Uh, those that doesn't work right now. Um, a few other things here: uh, stopping new apps from appearing on the home screen. So you open the market menu sh settings, disable auto add shortcuts. Um, so yeah. There you go, guys. That's the how-to. Um, if you like what you see, go ahead. Come over to the. Uh, please do come over here to the uh, to the Roots Wiki. Make an account. Post your thanks to uh, First Encounter. He really has done a fantastic job at uh, making the ROM, keeping it up to date. You know, he's he's doing really, really good. He's getting back to everybody um, about their posts and questions. So, props to him. Mad props to him. Also, throw a donation his way um, if you guys can spare it. Click on here and and send him a send him a PM. Um, he he deserves it. Definitely deserves the the donation for it. Um, so that's that, guys. Go ahead and and again uh, stay up to date here on the Roots Wiki. Um, and it, this 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 thread is exploding um, with new new comments and everything. So go ahead and. Um, like I said, go ahead and uh, stay uh, and keep up with all of this stuff. Um, they're gonna be he's gonna be releasing new builds. Um, hopefully, hopefully within the next maybe like week or two he'll have a new one because the beta the first beta was up for about a week or two and then the second beta dropped. So hopefully he'll be releasing a third beta soon. He he's been doing a lot of active work on on this ROM and. So that's uh, that's a great thing to see that the the dev community for the Droid X is still alive and well. Um, he definitely extended the, the life, the shelf life of a Droid X significantly by bringing us this ROM. So there you go, guys. Enjoy. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, enjoy your enjoy your encounter ICS. I know I am for sure. So thanks, guys, for watching.